Hello guys, I'm Shirin and this is the Alentia effect, where we strip cyber security down to the strategy and use game theory to see the battlefield the way attackers do. Now, picture this, you are playing chess, but every move you make vanishes from the board as soon as you play it. No record, no reply, no memory. Just you staring at the pieces trying to remember what you were doing while your opponent remembers everything that is an undocumented soc every shift starts blind every analyst is forced to rebuild the plan from scratch and the attacker they are playing a repeated game stacking every lesson they have learned against you Mitre calls this strategy number seven document and share procedures i call it weaponizing memory turning your soc's scattered actions into a living evolving strategy from a game theory perspective it's the move that shifts you from an information disadvantage to a strategic resilience and in this game that's the difference between surviving the match and being checkmated without ever seeing it coming in game theory there are patterns of play that decide who keeps the advantage two of them are critical for security in complete information games where one player knows more than the other two repeated games where each round's memory changes the strategy in the next attackers live in repeated games they test your defenses they learn your weaknesses they remember your patterns they treat every incident as a data point in a growing playbook of what works against you but here is the trap if you don't document your own patterns, you're effectively resetting to round one every single time you face them. The result is brutal. The attacker plays with an expanding database of tested, validated exploits. The defender keeps playing the learning cost, burning time, effort, and resources rediscovering the same answers this is knowledge asymmetry and in the economies of security it's lethal the player with the better information doesn't just win more often they shape the game itself from a coordination game perspective documentation changed the equation entirely it turned fragile tribal knowledge locked in a few analysts heads into common knowledge accessible to the entire team and in coordination games common knowledge is the holy grail it ensures that every player knows not just their move but that everyone else knows it too it allows the team to act as a single coordinated defense unit rather than isolated responders without shared playbooks and documented procedures your soc isn't really a unified defense it's just a set of individual reacting in isolation and in a repeated game isolated reactions are easy to exploit this isn't about dusty binders no one reads or wikis that died three years ago modern soc documentation is alive version controlled searchable accessible 
and continuously updated. Think of it as your SOC's operating system, one that stays patched and optimized. When it's done right, documentation is a real-time tactical advantage, not a compliance checkbox. Here are the core components every high-functioning SOC should build and maintain. Incident Response Runbooks These are your battle drills, step-by-step -step technical actions for specific alerts or incident types, written so any analyst can follow them under stress. Example Fishing alert run book might include triage checklist, determine if the email is internal, external, or spoofed, mail header analysis commands, pre-written queries and decoding steps, SIEM searches to identify if similar messages were received by other users, user notification templates so response speed doesn't depend on writing from scratch. Best practice is store them in Confluence, Git, or an incident response platform with reversion tracking so changes are logged and recoverable. 2. Detection Role Repositories Your detection logic is intellectual property. Protect it, organize it, and document it. For every correlation rule, sigma rule, or Yara signature, include logic and purpose. What it means to detect and why it exists. False positive history. So analysts don't waste time rediscovering tuning lessons. Links to related threat intel reports to see the bigger picture of the threat. Version control in Git ensures you know who changed what and why, which is essential in regulated environment. Number three, Threat Intelligence Knowledge Base, TIKB. This is where raw indicators become context-rich intelligence. Tag IOCs with TTPs mapped to Mitra attack. Link IOCs directly to incident cases, so analysts understand not just the artifact, but the campaign it belongs to. Keep it dynamic. All indicators should be archived or marked stale to reduce noise. Your TIKB becomes the memory of your adversary inside your SOC. 4. Shift handover logs. Think of this as save points in the game. Every time an analyst ends their shift, they record ongoing investigation status, where they left off and what's next. Key SIM query results so the next analyst can validate or expand quickly. Pending actions, tags that need immediate attention at shift start. Without this, every handover is a cold start, costing you valuable minutes in active incidents. Post incident reviews, PIR. Post incident reviews aren't blame sessions, they are strategy upgrades. Document what happens, timeline and scope of the incident, why it unfolded that way, decision points, missed signals, bottlenecks. Lessons learned. What to change in playbooks, automation scripts, or detection logics? PIR findings should fit back into training programs and automated detection response processes. A SOC without these five documentation pillars is like a player in a tournament who refuses to take notes between matches. The opponent keeps improving while you keep guessing. In repeated game theory, every round builds on the last. 
The players learn, adapt, and refine. In a SOC, documentation is what allows that learning to survive the shift change. Without it, if player A and analysts leaves the game and player B enters, the strategy resets to zero. With it, the strategy continues seamlessly, as if the same player was still making the moves. In repeated games, there is a concept called the discount factor. How much you value future moves compared to the present. Poor documentation is like applying a steep discount. The future barely benefits from what you did today. A strong documentation flattens that discount, valuing future moves almost as much as the present because every lesson learned is preserved and reused. From a risk management perspective, this shift changed the game entirely. Lower mean time to respond. MTTR because you are not wasting time rediscovering steps. Lower mean time to contain MTTC because response execution is consist across analysts. Reduce dependency on a specific individual, removing dangerous single points of failure. And this is the payoff matrix. Document and shape, breach across, lower impact, faster containment, attackers loses momentum. Or don't document and breach across, higher impact, slower containment, attackers escalated. Document and shape, no breach, lower ongoing cost, readiness, maintain. Don't document, no breach, higher hidden cost from retraining, knowledge constantly lost. If you think attackers don't study your documentation habits, think again. They do, and they factor it into their attack plans. Insider threats, red teams, and APT actors all exploit what game theory calls process opacity. When the defender's methods are hidden, fragmented, or inconsistent, this opacity works in their favor because it allows them to target weak nodes in your defense network. The weak spot strategy. If only two analysts in your SOC know exactly how to respond to a specific alert type, the attacker's task becomes simple. Avoid those two, or overwhelm them, or time the attack for when they are offline. In repeated games, this is called exploiting predictable bottlenecks, and without documentation, you are full of them. What a well-documented SOC looks like to an attacker. A well-documented SOC changed the game entirely. Suddenly, the attacker is facing a strategy on predictability. Any analyst can execute the full defense sequence with the same efficiency. Playbooks evolve after each attack attempt closing the exact gap the attacker just used. The attacker's learning advantage erodes because your counter moves are faster, consistent, and transparent across the team. In other words, documentation denies the attacker that comfort of predictability. From their perspective, they are now in a repeated game where your defense also learns every round. And that's a fight they can't win cheaply. Documenting and sharing is not bureaucracy. It's the SOC equivalent of building a fortified memory palace.
where every lesson learned becomes a weapon ready for the next battle. In the game of cyber security, memory is power. The player who remembers the most adopts the fastest and shares the quickest wins. Attackers already know this. They build their own SOC against you, a living repository of your behaviors, your gaps, your blind spots. Every failed detection, every slow response, every pattern you repeat, they store it, refine it, and weaponize it. So now, your best counter strategy. Out-document them. Out-share them. Out-learn them. Because in the attacker-defender game, forgetting isn't just a mistake. It's surrender. So, your SOC is only as smart as the memory it preserves. Every undocumented incident is a lesson you pay for twice. Once in the cost of the breach and again in the opportunity you lost to prevent the next one. So, the next time you think I will write this down later, remember this. In the attacker defender game, Later is a move the attacker has already taken. Document, share, weaponize your memory. Because in this game, forgetting isn't just a mistake. It's forfeiting. And that's it for strategy number 7. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because once we finish exploring all 11 SOC strategies, we will go even deeper with technical analysis, real-world attacker scenarios, and advanced defensive playbooks. Until then, stay safe, stay secure, and never stop thinking like a strategist. We rise together, stronger each move Lessons learned, with nothing to prove Voices unite